Hi friends, today I want to talk to you about the importance of protecting your work once it's all finished and you know you're not going to add anything else to it. Obviously if you're working in a journal um, you don't really need to protect your pages because you close your journal and the covers um, keep everything free from dust, the light and everything else. But if you're not working in a journal, if you're working on a canvas painting or an ad tag like these ones, you really need to put something on there to protect your work, your paint, your embellishments and all of that. So if you are doing work like me that is fairly um, two-dimensional, like nothing sticking out too much, then it's really really easy, you know, just you may think that it's an extra step to take, it's a bit of a pain, I know how it feels, don't worry, but it really pays to do it. So all I do is use this liquid varnish, this is a Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. You can find it in the store and it's very liquid, it looks a little bit opaque when it's in the bottle but it dries completely clear. And really it's so simple. All you do is just pour a little bit in a little cup somewhere or a glass or anything. You don't even need much. Use a soft brush. You'll find this in the store as well. You just dip it in there. Don't put too much at one time. Just a little bit. You'll see it's, it's liquid but it's also a little bit thick so it's not going to run everywhere. And you simply just brush it on your work quite liberally, like don't be shy, you can't really put too much because it will dry completely clear but it's really important and it's important to use a soft brush that doesn't leave um, too many brush marks, I'll show you the difference here uh, and the fact that it adds a bit of a gloss sheen to your work is actually pretty good to, well in in my books because it looks much prettier and if it's varnished it also looks finished. So this is all you do, you just brush it and then go back in a few very soft um, movements to avoid having too many brush strokes but then if you do that's not a problem at all. Let's do a second one. So you can see here I've got some collage, some paint, um, a little bit of texture with some modeling paste and also some rub-on, so a little bit of everything. And even though you may have used gel medium to glue all that and it's sealed, it's still good to put a protective layer at the end. So there you go. This is all you need to do and you'll see it will stay quite glossy like this and it will have your work protected for many years to come. So please do do this. It's important. You're putting all your energy and love into your work, so you might as well just protect it and keep it forever if you can. Bye for now.